In order to obtain my internship, I met with the Forestry Resource Association, which is a lobbying group in DC on behalf of the forestry industry in this country. They allowed me to shadow them while they did some lobbying uh, with different congressmen and senators, and that's how I was able to get my job. Um, I met Congressman Westerman, and he saw something in me. He just kind of saw that I was really interested in learning more about legislation, and he let me know that I should apply and come and stay with them, and I really did. I learned a lot, and because I met him, I wouldn't have been able to get my job without him. Being an intern on Capitol Hill, you have a lot of responsibilities. One of the most important responsibilities you have are uh, constituent relations. We have different constituents that would come in from the district and they would want capital tours and it's your job as an intern to be able to lead them on those tours. Um, I was tour trained, I had to go through four hour tour training uh, to be able to name every single painting in the rotunda, all the statues, the statuary hall, etc. You had to always be able to answer constituents questions about these things. Um, you would also lead around potential clients, etc. that would come in and speak to the congressman. Um, different groups would come and you had to be able to accommodate them and speak to, speak to them and just be a nice person in general because you know you're representing your office you're the first person they see whenever they walk in and yeah you're the first person they interact with so you need to be there and be ready to speak to them to them but one of the most important things you have to do is be able to answer constituents questions that call you um, it's your job as an intern to be able to inform people what's going on with current legislation every time something happens on the news your office is going to get at least 10 calls on it from the district and you have to be able to answer them in a way that they'll be able to understand because it's hard to understand you know what they're talking about on c-span what they're talking about on CNN. Um, for example, I was there during transgender bathrooms and that is whenever the country just, wow, exploded. That was a big issue, um, very interesting, very important to a lot of people. So the phones were ringing off the hook and even though something had happened 10 minutes ago, you had to have a prepared response um, and an intelligent response. You couldn't just, you know, halfway kind of have some idea of what you were saying. You had to be ready all the time, no matter what was happening. You had to be always on the news, um, always paying attention and listening to your congressman because it's, your, it's his opinion and um, his position on things that you have to let people know about. And so if you're not paying attention, if you're not communicating with your congressman regularly, then you are not doing a service to the district that you are working for. A typical day in my internship mostly consisted of me talking to constituents the entire day. Um, people would call, people would show up. You weren't really sure what your schedule would be for the day and you would kind of know whenever you had to go to meetings and that was pretty much it because the hill changes so much. Anytime something happens on the news, if legislation is introduced, your whole day is changed and it can change every second. The congressmen themselves have wild schedules that are changed every 10 minutes, so you don't really have a set schedule either, um, other than attending briefings. Um, sometimes the staff would get sick or they would get busy and you would have to go to briefings on their behalf and you always had to be ready to go. You always had to have you know, your notebook and your pen ready and you just had to leave. But um, definitely dealing with constituents. I was capital tour trained and sometimes people would just kind of come in and be like, hey, I live in your district, I just decided to stop by, I would like a capital tour, which they have every right to do because, you know, they're constituents and this is their office and at the end of the day you do work for them. So if you were doing something important, you would put it down and you would go and you would lead a tour for an hour, which was fine and it was actually really great. I got to meet a lot of really interesting people that way, but I would be on the phone a lot of my time and answering emails a lot of the time, explaining to people what was going on. Um, constituents are really interested in what's happening and what their congressmen, their elected representatives are doing because, you know, they elect these people into office, they see what's happening, they want to know what's going on. It's hard to understand what they're saying on C-SPAN, it's hard to understand what they're saying on CNN sometimes, and so it was your job to explain to people 
hey, this is what's going on with this House resolution, and this is why, and this is how your congressman feels about it. And it was really important to be able to talk to the congressman, whatever representative you were working for, talk to their staff to figure out what their positions were on these issues. And um, things would come up like every minute, something would happen, and you had to be able to answer it. Um, you also had to be able to distinguish what was true and what was not true. There's a lot of fake news out there and it's very misleading to people and it stresses people out and so whenever people call you and talk about some news story that they heard on their local radio in the middle of their small district, you have to be able to respond to that and it seems kind of impossible at times but that's why you had long days. You were trying to figure out what was happening and do the best you could. Thanks to my internship, I figured out that after school, I would really like to be a staffer on the Hill. I really felt like I fit in there. I learned a lot of interesting things about myself. I learned that I'm not afraid of the change of pace that comes along with working on the Hill. Things happen so fast, it's really crazy, but I found out that I really love that. I also discovered a love for working with constituents. Um, constituents are so interesting, you know, they call and they each have something completely different to talk to you about and they really need somebody to talk to them and that's a career I would like to pursue. I would like to work for a congressman or a senator, perhaps even a congresswoman, that would be really great. And you know, I would like to be the liaison between them and their constituents to continue what I'm doing but actually get paid for it. That would, that would be really cool.